All right. Here it is. This is called new meat. Help! Wanted? Burger site is looking for friendly and self-motivated individuals to join our family at Restaurant 3 just off Route 6080 and help us serve high-quality burgers at a great price just like we have since 1954. To all qualified applicants, we can offer such benefits as flexible hours, frequent bonuses based on performance, government-mandated breaks, many opportunities for advancement, a fun and caring and atmosphere, the most important. If you think you've got what it takes to serve smiles and style and you can provide proof that you're eligible to work in the United States, don't hesitate to send in your application. This is a rare opportunity to start an exciting new career here at Burger Site. Burger Site is an equal opportunity employer. You will not be refused employment based on race, gender, age, height, physical capability, sexual alignment, religious affiliation, employment history, criminal background, eyesight, outstanding warrants, organ donor status, or previous episodes of sudden brutal violence. Burger Site is a subsidiary of Diamond Dynamics. One breath. Okay. Day one. <laughs> oh, I'm this guy. Oh, this is kind of sick. your car if you drive away now you're never coming back want to ditch this job yeah yeah no <laughs> you got the e never mind ending that was a good game Oh my god. <laughs> this is great. This is very good already. Speed run. The accounts. Oh, fudge. Very smart move. Thank you. Burger site's looking for friendly. Gonna lurk a moment. No worries, buddy. Enjoy your lurk. Hope you're chilling and hanging and vibing and etc. We're gonna just fast forward through this job. B. Sounds like the Undertale sound. Okay, I should just go in. Wow, a customer this early? Oh, hey dude. So you're the new guy Nat hired, huh? Gotta say, I dig the shades. You probably wanna see Natalie, right? I think she's in the back right now doing boss stuff. Anyway, hop over the counter using the arrows over there and go talk to her, she's really chill. Oh, I'm Cliff, by the way. I run the register. And I guess you're gonna be... Uh, nah, never mind. I'll let Nat explain your job. She's good at that. She's really cool. Speaking of the boss, she's making me inventory the straws again, so I've gotta get busy. Welcome to the burger site crew, dude. Restroom code. Condiment dispensers are a perfect distance from the counter to prevent you from putting your mouth under the spigot. Okay. Employees only. Industrial strength air conditioner. This far out in the desert. This is the main attraction to any store. Nutrition information is listed here. You feel like you're the first person who's looked at this sign in 15 years. It's a drink dispenser. Probably best not to ask when this was last cleaned. Cups are neatly arranged by size. They're small, medium, large, and healthfully larger than large. Coffee maker, but you've never been a coffee person. It's a pass through to the kitchen. Looks like everyone's working hard back there. Well, hey there, new guy. Gotta say, that uniform really suits you. Red is definitely your color. 
I'm Natalie, and I'm your new boss, life coach and possible crush. Kidding. Anyway, once you're settled in, I've got a job that's perfect for you. Like, seriously, you'll love it. But you can look around first. I'll stop talking. Calendar, the end of the week is circled. This is my office. My door's always open for a chat. The one exception is when I'm not in my office, like right now, so get over here. That This one's plastic. The plan is a schedule of daily watering uh, duties pinned to the side, but all the names have been crossed out and replaced with Reginald. The teddy bear looks well cuddled. The name Natalie is written on its foot. A small collection of literature classics, sci-fi novels, romance books, and some surprisingly violent manga. You'll, this only gets work safe channels. What's even the point? There's a note pinned to this vending machine. This vending machine only sorts, sort of works. Unfortunately, it dispenses drinks, but no, ma but no matter what button you press, the drink you get is totally random. I've decided to fix, not to fix it because I actually think it's kind of fun this way. If anyone feels otherwise, we can discuss it at the quarterly round table. It's a dollar for a drink. You don't have any dollars right now. Corporate modern art, which is say random lines and colors. Well, this is promising. You begin to open the... What? Not yet. Let's sort out what you're doing first, okay? This appears to be the restaurant's computer system. Better not use it until someone tells you how. Someone's coffee. Specifically, someone who hates coffee. If the long list of sweeteners on the order label is anything to go by. Portrait of a person? There's no name or anything associated with it, so it must just be decoration. Okay, you done scoping the place out? Great, one one thing first though. I've gotta give you a job title just to make everything official. So you're gonna be our new Inventory Specialist. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to keep our freezers full of meat to feed our hungry clientele. Kind of important for a burger place. Now, I know that doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, it's the coolest job in the store. I'd know it used to be my job not too long ago. And what do you know? We're dangerously low on supplies today. Some strapping here is going to need to save the day. See that strangely ominous door at the back of the room? All you got to do is go into the back and find some meat. Bring it back here and we'll put it on ice for tomorrow. How much? Well, let's start you off with an easy quota. We'll say 100 meat. That's totally going to be a cakewalk for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You were handed a burlap sack for the meat. Now get in there, champ. Oh, shit. BRB second music drop of the day. Oh, yes! I'm excited to listen to that. Let's see this. Wait, what is this room? This is the freezer. Looks like a... Don't open that yet! Oh, shit. This introduction scene lightly reminds me of some licensed games on the DS based on the, an obscure cartoon. Hmm. Oh, and in case you get confused back there, I left some notes. Don't get on my case if I misspelled anything, okay? I was in a hurry. Plastic utensils. Locked. There's a chainsaw inside this chest. New weapon. <laughs> Don't forget to equip this. You should be able to equip things by opening the menu. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. There's something moving inside. Cut it open? <laughs> okay. This goes kind of hard. The strange creature bursts into a shower of gore. Chunks of juicy meat rain down all around you. There isn't much, but you gather the meat and put it in your burlap sack. Collected 16 meat. But there's something else in the remains. It's a beating organ, still pristine. Instinctively, you reach for it. You've gained a heart. Next time you fall in battle, this will revive you where you stand. Collect more hearts to become an unstoppable inventory specialist. Oh my god. Is this drawn like a roguelike? Looks like there's more. There's a note on the ground. Hey, before you go any deeper, there's some extra equipment for you to try out to the left and a really useful thing to the right. Actually, the equipment is to the right and the useful thing is to the left. Oh, final note. I didn't get my lefts and rights mixed up. I was just facing towards the exit when I wrote the first note. Okay, right, right, right. Revolver. Super fast and accurate. Oh, I see. Okay. Shotgun. Ketchup bottle. Energy it tanks. Oh my god. Kitchen knife. 
Electric guitar. Is this a roguelike? Wow. Yo, what's up, Steel? This game's called New Meat. We're checking it out right now. There's a note on the ground. Welcome to the bone zone. Sometimes we'll find bones down here. You throw bones in from the gold square, they get prizes. Okay. Interesting. We love a subclass. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Rumbles angrily. I think this is a roguelike game. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh. A bomb. Diet rage. I have to finish two of my two roguelikes. Roguelikes are hard to finish. Nice. No luck. Oh my god. Okay, wait. What is this, though? The strange woman speaks to you in your mind. I find many things. Trade for meat, yes? She makes you an offer. Happy Halloween patch depicts a friendly burger ghost covered in ketchup. No. Try something else. She searches her unseen stock. If you want a different deal, talk to her again. Interesting. Roguelikes are hit or miss for me. I tend to prefer roguelite. Yeah, I don't, I don't get really deep, I don't get very committed to them. You can melt ice by rubbing your body against it. I'm aware I could have phrased that differently, but I chose not to. The higher your E attack, the less energy it will take. Okay. One's a top down, the other's a monster collecting. Oh, that's cool. I want to make a roguelike, but I don't know what. I don't know what kind yet. The enemy bursts into a shower gore. You collected 18 meat. 19 energy to melt it. I see. Oh. Wait, what was the item I just got? Iced tea. Way more caffeine than you think. Ketchup bottle, tangy sis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take out bag lies on the ground. You inspect its com t contents. A classic chicken sandwich. I treat roguelikes as like they're an arcade type game just because I can never really finish them. Yeah, me too. Some of my faves I feel that way about actually. Okay, I want this. I'm so close to having enough meat. Smash it. Found a bomb. Alright. I'm ready, dude. Yeah, I never can commit to roguelikes because I'm just not very good at them. Go! Ah! 
Uh, use a key. Found a key. Bash it open. No, no luck. No luck. Oh, a current cure cola. Huh. Nice. Break the break the pot. Break the pot. Break the pot. Break the pot. Love the bone sound. Oh shit. This is a good game. I like it. It's really silly. Shower of gore. I don't have the energy. Now I got the energy. Come on. Oh, I'm out of energy. You can bash your way through rocks, but I wouldn't recommend it. Better find a bomb laying around. Okay, do that. Got a bomb. Janitor's uniform. Oh. Oh, I don't have the energy. About to. Does it just keep going forever? Yeah, sure. That was what I got, right? The hairnet? Let's try this. Did I get 100 meat? Yeah, but then I just sold it. I'm a fool. But I think we're like pretty tough. A bone. I think the gum was better. Whoa. Plastic fork. It's like a chewing a pen, but you're supposed to Okay. Huh. Oh, he's cool looking. Carved off six meat. Cool. I don't have any energy. Do you have a bomb though? Charcoal lemonade. Oh, I don't have, no, 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 no. What a waste. Whoa, that's cool looking. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like that it does that effect. Oh shit. 
<sighs> oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm out of hearts. I see. Wait, does my health always go up when I'm walking around? I don't think I knew that. Chop Goblin. He's cool. The enemies in this are awesome. Okay, I got a Hondo meat. What'd I miss? We're playing a roguelike John, dude. This new meat's pretty cool. Except for all that. Whoa! The creatures in this game are very cool. Oh. I have a brain freeze, so I can't use skills. Stop. Kill him. Drop the bone. Uh, shit. Damn. Oh. Uh, okay. Looks like there's something big inside this one. You're feeling up to it? Nope. Just get out. Yeah. We leave. Let's go back upstairs. As you pass through the doorway, you feel a strange sensation. All your bombs and keys have been removed. At least they would if you had any. Fuck. Great, you made it. Awesome work. So let's tally up your score here. Oh, hell yeah. 161 meat on your first day? That's some skills right there. Man, do I know how to pick them or what? Okay, let's get that stuff on ice. Follow me. Next stop on our tour. Once you've got your meat, you've got to put it in the freezer. That'd be the door over there. Reginald will move it to the fridge in the morning, so you don't have to worry about that. Go drop off your haul and then talk to me for a special prize. Do you want to bank your meat? I love banking my sack of meat. Congrats, you're now a certified inventory specialist. You specialize the hell out of that inventory. And that brings us to your special prize. Cold hard cash. Perks of being an inventory specialist. Every day you get a cash bonus based on how much meat you bring in. Paid on the spot. Or, well, not quite on the spot, I guess. You get it when you clock out for the day. Oh, right. I still need to teach you how to clock out. Okay, one more step in your training, then. To the room we were just in. Whoosh. Okay, clocking out simple. Corporate gave you your login creds, right? Just plug them into the ancient computer back there and log your hours. The hours don't mean much for you, though. All corporate cares about is you meeting your quotas. Hit those and you can come and go whenever you want. Since you've hit your quota, you could head home right now if you want. Not every quota is going to be this easy, so enjoy the short day. And I think that's everything. That should be everything you need to know. Get the meat, bank it in the fridge, hit your quota, clock out, get paid. Hell of a job, huh? If you still need ca to chat, I'll be in my office. Otherwise, I'll leave the rest in your hands. Yo, what's up, Mario? Alright, one more thing. Since it's your first week, corporate is going to be watching you very closely. It's sort of an evaluation period. You have five days to impress the guys upstairs. But with an awesome boss like me, you're totally going to crush it. Trust me, this is the best job you'll ever have. You're going to love working here. Trust me. Okay, I need to, like, heal, though. Oh. Um... If I go back in there... How do I heal, though? Uh, are you taking off, or did you want to ask about... Getting stronger. Saying you felt a little weak? Full belly is the best way to keep. When you come in tomorrow, be sure to spend your cash bonus on a meal. Clocking out. Uh, 
Okay. Login validated. Save. Meatball? Yo, what's up, Raiders? Welcome in, Meatball Raiders. Oh, hey. How was fighting the dragon? Did you guys have fun? Something tell me tells me Riggy grabbed the bag. I'm grabbing the bag, dude. Clocking out. Thanks for the raid. Um. Hi, Rizy. Welcome in, everybody. We are playing uh, a game called New Meat. It's very fun. You look like a hairy Enderman. This is for you, Meatball. Sit and spin on this one. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> the RPG Maker Battle Track. It's a classic, dude. Thank you for the resub, Meatball. I love you. Yo, new guy. Well, I guess you aren't new anymore. How'd it go yesterday? You know, with the thing. I can't talk about in front of the customers. Not too bad, right? But hey, you got your bonus last night, right? Now that you've got some money, you can buy yourself a meal before you get to work. It's way harder working on an empty stomach. Come talk to me before you head down. I'll hook you up. That manager of yours has quite a striking sense of style. I wonder if she won't mind if I use her as an inspiration for a zine comic I'm working on. Meatball rebranded Enderman as Shadow Riggies. I fuck. Come on. Sit and spin. Affectionate. Multiple Riggies, dude. Because they're tall and skinny. Oh, I see. Oh, you nice. You came back. That saves me some paperwork. Yesterday was just practice, but as I expected, you killed it. So today we kick it up a notch. Quota for the day is 250 meat, more than double yesterday's. Think you can handle that? Gotta stock that freezer up when the district manager gets here. Oh, wait. Did I not mention that? The district manager is going to be here three days from now for a store's inspection. That's also when you get to know if you're a permanent hire or not. Okay, cool. Riggy verse be full of them. See, I could have held this one, but Riggy's so much damn taller than me. I'm very tall, brother. I'm a big guy, dude. So I gotta go capture some meat. Riggy is a bunny. Riggy is a bunny, actually. What the hell was that? That was a creature moving forward. New track. We're just playing uh, fun, cute little RPG Maker games tonight. Thank you all for joining. Okay, we didn't even take a hit. Not even a hit. What is this? Know your limits. Know your limit. Ah, I love this one. He's cute. Meathead. But is Riggy a Bugs Bunny? Hmm. There are more swords here now. I must nap. Get some sleep, brother. Thanks for hanging out, UPRC. Pub says he can change the Enderman's name to Shadow Riggies. Please do. That would be so funny. That's actually so, so funny. Two keys. Woo! A Geo Soda. Come on. Break it! Too many mods. No, I want as many mods as possible. So everybody can get banned. I want everybody to disband each other. Woo! Oh, I got two bones. Now 
Never thought he'd punch the chest. I'll do it. Say the word, boss. Can't put him out of their misery. Mario, get my gun. Oh, I got lots of bones. That's actually true about Mario. Just gonna use it all. Why not? No idea what any of it did. That's a lot of bombs. Fudge. Wait. Hmm. All right. Oh, TV looking ass, computer looking guy. Find many things. Trade for meat, yeah? She makes you an offer. Security your piece. 715? I don't have that, bro. Oh no, a wandering evil spirit has possessed the enemy. Stats are increased, but so are the rewards. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, this sucks. I don't have any, uh, energy right now. Um, no it on the ground, but you don't recognize the handwriting. Stand here, please. Did we do the thing now? Yes! <gasps> wow, we really just stood there. I told you, my calculations are never wrong. You say that with such confidence. Yes, I nearly believed it at first. And now look, you scared the human. Don't worry, my dude, we're on your side. You can call us the Outsiders. Blue picked the name. I wanted to be called the Spectral Friends. We're here to help you on your big quest thing. Our powers may be weakened in this world, but we will help you however we can. What do you mean, what quest? Your quest to destroy this horrible meat anomaly, of course. Isn't that why you're down here? Let us crush this dungeon with our awesome weapons. But mostly you do that and we watch, because this universe sucks. And don't us let us bend it like back at home. Is this Skyrim? This is Skyrim. Look, regardless of why you came down here, we need to work together on this. We'll help however we can, which isn't much. <laughs> Here's how we'll do this. Whenever you encounter us, we'll, pick, we'll each pick something to offer you. You will then select the boon you think that will be most helpful, but you can only pick one boon per room. Because your universe will get all bent and weird if we try to give you any more. I believe we all have our boon prepared for this go-around. Select what you want, then good luck on your way. I hate doing chance. Ten keys. No. Double your bones. Feeling lucky I'll give you a random piece of equipment. Could be amazing or trash. Hermit's Blessing. The pace of health regeneration in combat. Yes! Might be Skyrim, I don't know. I'm not seeing any dragons yet. There, I wrote it with charcoal, so it won't last very long, but you should get about 200 steps out of it. Just buy a pen, my dude. We're not having this conversation again. Okay. Or cheese. <laughs> Come here, pal. I wanted to hit him. The lash bat. Oh. Oh. Nice. Don't even have the energy to try. Key. Bomb. Bomb. 
Looks like Skyrim to me. Me too. The music in this game is really awesome. A lot of this stuff is really good. I actually really like this a lot. I like these little RPG Maker roguelike games. I played quite a few, and they're actually all pretty, pretty fun. Some, sometimes. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. A bomb. Also, our bones. I got so many items out of that. Oh. Oh, it gives you a better chance to crit. Man, looking at it better now, I never realize how blocky MV looks. It does look blocky. I agree. Oh, carved off some meat. Collects 22 meat, and the enemy dropped a bone, which you also pick up. Okay. Got it. 250 meat, dude. Yo, Piss Goblin with the follow. What's up, Piss Goblin? Ah! Is that DZ? That's not. It's another friend, though. DZ is a proper Piss Goblin, though, for sure. The 48 by 48 really is what make it, makes it blocky. I agree. Okay, I'm gonna get her here, but it's fine. Every RPG maker is blocky. It's true. Oh, I dodged it. All right, let's leave. The soundtrack slaps. It does. It's got some. All, Skyrim's got some bangers. I gotta go drop that meat off. Bank that meat. Bank that meat. Bank that meat. Bank that meat. Meat banked. Meat bank. Okay, we're gonna stop here because we got pretty much the uh, the gist of the game. We're gonna go save. All right, I'm gonna buy a ton of shit. Oh. Hmm. And there's our inventory specialist, right on time. You ready for another? F oh, okay. You're quoted for today's 400 meat. Gonna really have to get in there today, don't worry though, you've been killing it so far, you got this, I'll be where I always am. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is a great game. This is called New Meat. If you're looking for like a fun, silly roguelike, I think this is the one. Um, I really enjoyed what we got to play though. The music's really good too, it's all... Stuff like this. I love this title screen music though, especially. game.